follow me on TikTok. Hey guys, it is Maya, and I'm currently in my sister's room, which used to be my room, if you remember back in the days when I wasn't in college. But yeah, now I'm not in college anymore because I got displaced. I don't want to change this. Yeah, let's see that. Okay, guys, so I wanted to do an... Oh, I'm going to be really ticky today. <laughs> hey guys, it's Maya, and you guys, if you are new to my channel, um, I am just a girl that makes songs and talks about Tourette's and cheers you up and makes random vlogs. So, subscribe if you're new. <laughs> so, um, today I wanted to make another Tourette's video. I haven't made one in a while. And I felt like it was an appropriate time for two reasons. One of them is that it is Tourette's Awareness Month right now. They do like a weird thing where it's like May 15th to June 15th. I don't really get it, but that's the day. Oh, I'm really. So today I wanted to talk about something which I see a lot of people do, and it's not like necessarily the exact same thing. A lot of people like talk about like what their tics are and like stuff like that. But I kind of wanted to make more of a broad video, which is like how Tourette's annoys me all the time. Um, especially recently because even though right now I'm having a lot of, um, because when I talk about it, especially in front of the camera, when I'm looking at myself in the little viewfinder, like the little feed thing, um, I tend to tick a lot more and today's just like a pretty ticky day because <laughs> I'm by myself because my family all went to the beach because I don't I'm not really a beach person <laughs> so After the coronavirus Kind of happened my ticks weren't that bad, but I started instead of getting like a lot of vocal ticks I started having like more and like even like my motor ticks where I like twitch my eyes and stuff I started getting like massive like OCD ticks which is like kind of where you like have to do a specific thing. Like even though like all it takes like you have to do it to relieve like the need to do it, but these are like very obsessive like compulsive ticks. If you guys don't know, like most people that have Tourette syndrome have some sort of level of OCD. It's just kind of like how it works cuz they're very tied together um in that way. <laughs> but I have like a couple ticks I wanted to talk about that kind of explain like the daily life of someone, especially like what I'm going through right now with like these annoying ticks where I have to like basically sabotage things <laughs> and then fix them because I have like that OCD aspect where everything has to be perfect but I'm also like ruining it at the same time so it's really annoying for example like I have this tick where I like have to drop my phone on the table but literally I'll be holding my phone and I have to drop it face down on the table and good thing this case like I have been doing that for the past month and my phone is fine luckily <laughs> but like I have to drop it face down on the table like three times or like enough time so that it satisfies the tick and it's so annoying because when I have like my keyboard in front of me or my computer I'm dropping it on my computer and it like it will hit a key and it will be like oh I escaped the window so now I have to go back or I hit the space bar and I like change something or I started playing my song or something like that and it's like Ugh. the other thing that I have that's similar to that is like this cup one there's like two like when I have a mug I have to like sploosh it <laughs> It's so annoying. Like, I wish that people could, like, feel the feeling of, like, when you have to sploosh it, but then you freak out because you spilled it after. Like, you have to, like, flip the mug. But it's only when I'm holding a mug. When I have something like this and I'm sitting at the table, I have to, like, tap it on the table. Like, and I'll do it on the keyboard, too, or on my phone. And it's just, like, now, if, especially if the cup's sweating, now there's water droplets on my keyboard, which I have to get off. But when I try to get them off, then it hits the keys. And it types things or whatever and it's so annoying I also have this new one where when I'm putting on mascara I love makeup and luckily coronavirus has helped me to not really wear makeup because I'm stuck inside all the time but today I was like I'm filming so I'm gonna put makeup on and when I'm putting mascara on I have to do my blinky eye one like more than I normally do and so when I'm putting mascara on now every time I put it on I have to 
I blink and I get all the mascara all around and on the top of my eyelid. I'm sure there's some there right now. Actually, this was pretty good because I took it off. But like when you blink, you get mascara up here and you get mascara down there and then you have to go in with a freaking wipe and take off all the extra. And then sometimes it takes your eyeshadow off so you have to reapply eyeshadow after the mascara dries and it's just a big mess. Oh, the pencil one. Okay, so this one, this one is so fucking annoying. Like I can't even explain to you guys how much this is like sabotaging and like giving me issues. I love writing with pen, right? I don't really like using pencil. I think that it can smudge easier and it just doesn't look as nice and it's not as in your face and, and nice and crisp, right? But so I have this tick where I have to like make random lines on the paper. And so when I'm using pencil, I make the lines and then I erase them. But when I'm using pen, the lines don't go away. So I have to now have like a separate paper to make the lines on, but it's not the same because it's not on the real paper. It really doesn't satisfy it, so it's really annoying. So something that has helped me, and the other one is I have to touch it to like here on my clothes, like the pen open, because it doesn't satisfy the tick if the pen is closed. It has to be clicked open, and I have to like touch it. So a lot of my shirts you'll see have little pen marks on it, and it's like so annoying because these are my nice clothes and I'm getting ink all over them. So that's annoying. And then the other one I was gonna say is like, the thing that has kind of helped me with that is using my iPad and using like an app like GoodNotes where I can just press, like make the mark, satisfy the tick, and then press the undo button three times, cause usually it's in threes, and it goes away. So that's been helpful. Um, but those are like basically what I wanted to like share with you guys. Those are like some of my really annoying OCD sort of tick things that really bother me and I just I just wanted to talk I guess to the camera because I'm just feeling so frustrated all the time with some of these things <laughs> and um and um oh my life now you guys saw my roots congrats <laughs> um So yeah, I guess it's just been a lot recently with my Tourette's, um, and so, and now like that I'm talking about it, it's just like a mess, so. <laughs> um, but basically I just wanted to, I mean I haven't made a video this month, like for Tourette's Awareness Month, so I thought I would make it and just say like if y'all are feeling this way, if you all suffer with Tourette's or deal with it in any way, comment below and tell me what some of your annoying tics are that like sabotage your life. <laughs> um, now I said, oh, Jesus. <laughs> I don't really hit myself that much, but sometimes I do. Um, mostly when people aren't around, but now I'm in front of the camera, so. Um, I had another thought. Oh, guys, follow me on TikTok. Can't even dab. <laughs> Follow me on TikTok for some TikToks. TikToks. TikTok. Let's talk about. T yeah. Okay. Yeah. I mean, I guess that's basically the video. It's. It was kind of a mess, but yeah. Just that. Those are some of my annoying tics that I have. Short video. Love it. Like I've been editing out my tics more and more recently, because I basically like I had a, a time when. I was editing them out completely in all of my videos. And you know, in my singing videos, like I don't really have to edit them out because I really don't tick when, I, when I'm doing music, which is like a whole other topic for a whole other video. But, but when I started posting more like talking videos, I would like edit them out all the time. Um, and then I one day made a video about Tourette's and I said like, I'm gonna really try not to edit them out. And for a while I really was doing a good job of leaving them in. Um, but then I kind of subconsciously started taking them out more and more until they started having none at all again. So this video I'm going to try to not edit the shit out of and so we'll see how that, how that works. But yeah, if you guys want, check out my Spotify where I have some songs out. I am a, an artist and I make music, which is cool. So go ahead and check out my Spotify. You just search my name or Apple Music you can find my music on, or Amazon Music, or Google Play, all that kind of stuff. And I'll see you guys in the next video. <laughs> so, hope you enjoyed my TikTok. <laughs>